yes hello guys so here is one more problem on hexagonal lamina let me read the problem first a hexagonal lamina of sides 25 mm rests on one of its sides on vp okay the side opposite to the side on which it rests is 30 mm in front of vp so here is the point the side opposite to the side on which it rests so it is something similar to the previous problem we will see what it is and the side on which it rests makes 45 degree to HP okay draw its projections also determine the inclination of the lamina with reference plane so we have to find out the unknown inclination so initially it's a side resting and it is resting on VP and what is the dimension 25 mm so take 25 mm Let's measure exactly 2.5 boxes in our grid book 25 mm right so now we have to measure the angle using protractor take the protractor and measure the angle what is the angle 60 right so measure 60 degree both the ways both the ways so now draw two thin infinite lines at those positions thin infinite lines right so now we have to measure for 2.5 right so measure it for 2.5 mm and cut the arc on the same projected lines right so now we have to measure one more angle here one more time we have to measure the angle keeping the protract here 60 draw one thin infinite line at this position and now now you can again cut it for 25 mm so now at last from this position 125 mm arc and from this position one more 25 mm arc so that we can get the final corner so now join all the corners and increase the thickness as well make sure that all the hexagonal sides are thick and all the projection and construction line should be thin so now let me name it so since it's a front view it is a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash and f dash see in your solution book in your solution book he has named it in this fashion okay so in order to avoid confusion even i am taking the notations like this okay so you can take it anyways but to avoid confusion i am considering it as in your solution book fine so now to get it stop you project it downwards c dash f dash will come in the same line d dash e dash in same line again so so increase this thickness since it's a top view right so now we have to name it so b dash a dash we can see b dash we cannot see a dash because a dash will be hidden because of b dash so here since it's a top view be careful here it's not b dash it is b and a should be within the bracket here similar to this here also we can name we can see c dash so c will be outside the bracket and f will be inside the bracket here also same d outside the bracket and e will be inside the bracket since it's a top view right so now now we have to check for the next condition the side opposite to the side on which it rests is 30 mm in front of vp so in front of vp means it is always below xy line correct so here the side on which it is resting is a dash b dash the side opposite to the side on which it is resting is d dash e dash correct d dash e dash is the opposite side to b dash a dash so this d dash e dash is here see d e it should be 30 mm in front of vp so now what i'll do is i'll just mark 30 mm from xy line like this and i'll draw one thin line ok 
okay so now i'll measure this v of a to d of e hmm? so keeping my compass anywhere on this line i'll cut an arc on this line and even this mark is important for me so now let me join this so the given condition is satisfied so now let me take va to cf separately and i'll cut one separate arc okay so now let me name it it is again v of a it is c of f and this is what is this at last it is b of e and b of e right so even we got this wave so now we have to just project it upwards to get the next wave projection lines should be thin as you all know project it forward b dash t dash will come in a same line a dash e dash will also come in a same line f dash separately so now search for the common points a and a are meeting here so this will be my a dash b and b here so this will be my b dash c and c here so this will be my c dash right f and f are here so this will be my f dash so this is not b this is d no sorry sorry here, here. this will be d right so now d and d are meeting here so this will be my d dash and at last e and e are meeting here so this will be my e dash so a b c f d e correct so now join all the corners a dash to b dash b dash to c dash c dash to d dash d dash to e dash e dash to f dash at last f dash to a dash right so we even got this view right so the next step is to give the inclination he is telling makes 45 degree to hp so inclination with respect to hp can be seen in vp so let me consider a 45 degree line so keeping my protractor here i'll consider 45 degree line i'll consider 45 degree line this way even you can consider 45 degree line this way as well but there will be some page constraints now so i'll consider 45 degree this way right so thin line it should be 45 degree and we, he has asked us to find out this inclination as well so let us see what is this inclination so if i keep the protract here i'll get exactly 45 so theta is 45 degree okay and one more 45 he has given in the problem so that we have taken so now on this 45 degree line which side should rest see the side on which it rests makes 45 degree to hp what is the side on which it rests b dash a dash but not this we have to consider this b dash a dash from second diagram so b dash a dash should come on this line right so now i'll consider b dash here b dash and taking my compass i'll measure b dash to a dash length and i'll cut it here b dash to a dash so this will be my a dash now right so now b dash to c dash and a dash to f dash are equal so now first cut let me first cut b dash to c dash b dash to c dash and a dash to f dash they are similar now I'll, let me take a dash to c dash to get the intersection so a dash to c dash will be equal to b dash to e dash no so a dash to 
b dash will be equal to b dash to a dash to c dash will be equal to b dash to e dash so we got two points now there c dash here and this is e dash right so join these two so we can join it later leave so now c dash to d dash and f dash to e dash we have to cut so now we have a dash b dash and we got c dash f dash sorry this is not e dash this is f dash right so now from f dash to e dash we can cut c dash to d dash so let us measure f dash to e dash f dash to e dash and that will be equal to c dash to d dash now so c dash to d dash so now let us take e dash to c dash so that will be equivalent to f dash to d dash correct so keeping my protractor here i'll cut one arc here and keeping my protractor here i'll cut one more arc on this fine so now a b when it is f this will be c dash and this will be my d dash and this will be my e dash so now join all the corners join all the corners a dash to b dash b dash to c dash c dash to d dash d dash to e dash e dash to f dash and at last f dash to a dash then it increases the thickness okay so there has been a little clumsy here but i think it is visible so a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash and f dash so we got the inclined view so now we just project it downwards project it downwards using thin lines project all the corners like this and from here project everything forward yes now search for the common points hmm? so where is your a dash a dash and a dash are meeting here so this will be my a correct this will be my a similarly b dash and b are meeting here so this will be my b c dash this will be my c now where is d d and d are meeting here so this will be my d e this will be my e because e and e are meeting here similarly at last f and f are meeting here so this will be my f right so now let me join everything so first a to b b to c c to d d to e e to f and f to e so this is the final view so this is how we can solve this problem hope you understood this thank you